Hello kids, how are you guys doing today? This is Pranav, your Western music teacher, and I'm back with a video lesson. So today uh, I'll be teaching you the rest of the shapes of the pentatonic scale. So I'll be teaching you the second position of A minor pen pentatonic, uh, which is nothing but a C major first position pentatonic scale. It sounds a little bit confusing, but if you uh, try to position it right after the first position of the pentatonic scale it makes sense so uh, if you remember in my previous video i taught you the first position of a minor pentatonic scale so if you connect these notes and if you extend them up to the frets ahead you get this This is nothing but C major pentatonic. So uh, the notes, let me guide you through the notes. So it starts off on the eighth fret and then it goes to the tenth fret, then seven on the A, A string, seven to ten, then again seven to ten on D, then 7 to 9 on the G string then 8 to 10 on the B then 8 to 10 on the E string so in slow this position should sound like this So this was the C major pentatonic scale. Now if you want to connect it with the A minor pentatonic, so you can take a look at this. This was A minor pentatonic. Then right at the C note where you place your pinky on the 6th string in the first position of the A minor pentatonic, you start off the C major pentatonic scale. I'll play it for you one more time by extending the notes on each and every string so you get the clear idea. So uh, you can find different combinations to practice switching between uh, the first and the second position of the pentatonic scale. How are you going to do that? Uh, for example, there are a few examples that I'll be demonstrating in this video. So it's already started sounding a little bit musical. and come up with a diff with different variations uh, on uh, on these pentatonic scales and you can uh, start constructing basic level of solos and basic level of improvisations in the song so uh, you can uh, come up with the slides with the bends and you can always use the alternate picking and you can create your own different patterns picking patterns mm -hmm. Sounds pretty much random, but it's uh, not random. It's al al always calculated. So, and if you want to try some stretching exercises, you can always uh, apply the three-note per string pattern, and you can extend the pentatonic uh, with uh, pentatonic scale and connect them all together. It will become a little bit stretchy, but this exercise is recommended 
for those students who are already somewhat at intermediate uh, level or even at advanced level so this uh, exercise can become a very good exercise for them to uh, warm their warm up their hands and or even construct different ideas based on these pentatonic shapes and pentatonic extensions you can also come up with this pattern so uh, what did you, what did i do uh, go to the fifth fret on the first string and on the eighth fret so just pull off from eighth to fifth and then go to the b string on the eighth fret and then pluck the e string back on the fifth fret and then from uh, eighth to fifth on the b string so it's a pattern that you have to repeat uh, throughout the scale while ascending or descending and you can end it on the c note or on the a note if you want to make it sound a little bit minorish Uh, while on the picking uh, i would re recommend you to practice uh, pull offs first where you just uh, down pick the first note and you let your pinky uh, do the rest of the thing this is how you can do the pull offs so if you take a closer look at my picking so this way you can practice different exciting patterns on the pentatonic scale i'll be teaching you for the uh, the remaining uh, scale shapes of the pentatonic scale then i'll teach you how to connect between all the pentatonic scales and how to uh, play start playing basic improvisation solos and basic uh, solos which you can come up with your own and you can create your own solos so that you get a better idea of how to switch between different shapes of the pentatonic scale so that i'll be teaching in my uh, for upcoming videos so until then do like share subscribe and comment to the channel and if you have any doubt and query uh, you know what to do you just have to mention them into the comment sections and uh, practice hard while you still have uh, time to practice your instrument and uh, happy learning mm -hmm.